A diagnosis of diabetes mellitus in a pet can be concerning, but treatment along with diet and exercise can help reduce the risk of diabetic complications and allow dogs and cats to lead happy, healthy lives. Vetsilin as a treatment option can help. What is Vetsilin? Vetsilin is an insulin indicated for the reduction of hyperglycemia and hyperglycemia-associated clinical signs in dogs and cats with diabetes mellitus. Vetsilin is the first FDA-approved insulin for treatment of diabetes in both dogs and cats. Vetsilin is available in a 10-milliliter vial for use with U40 insulin syringes or a 2.7-milliliter cartridge for use with the VetPen. What is VetPen? VetPen is the first and only insulin pen approved by the FDA for use in dogs and cats with diabetes mellitus. The VetPen is ergonomically designed for easy handling and dosing. Additional adapters are provided to further assist pet owners with visual or manual dexterity issues. The dose selector allows for precise dosing and minimizes dosing errors. It is used with a multi-dose insulin cartridge. The 2.7 milliliter insulin cartridge is for use with the VetPen only. VetPen is portable and easy to take on the go, less intimidating to administer. Its specially lubricated and triple sharpened needles minimize pet discomfort. VetPen is available in two dose volume sizes. The eight unit VetPen with dosing increments of 0.5 units, which delivers a maximum of eight units per dose and 16-unit VetPen with dosing increments of 1.0 units, which delivers a maximum use of 16 units per dose. Vetsilin dosing with a syringe. Please note that using a syringe other than a U40 insulin syringe will result in an incorrect dose. Follow these steps to prepare and administer a dose of Vetsilin. After washing your hands, remove the Vetsilin vial from the refrigerator. Shake the vial thoroughly until a homogeneous milky suspension is obtained. It is important to always shake the vial until the insulin mixes evenly. This will ensure the proper dose is administered. It is important to always shake Vetsilin prior to drawing a dose from the vial. Carefully remove the U40 syringe cap and insert the needle into the vial. Invert both the vial and syringe, making sure the tip of the needle remains in the vial. Withdraw the correct dose of Vetsilin into the syringe. Before removing the needle from the vial, check the syringe for any air bubbles. If air bubbles are present, tap the side of the syringe until the air bubbles float to the top. Then gently press the plunger rod to remove any air bubbles, then draw the correct dose to be administered to your pet. Remove the needle from the vial. Be careful not to inject yourself. Giving injections. Giving injections may seem daunting, but with practice, it can be easy and fit into your daily routine. Injections should be given just under the skin, three quarters to two inches from the dorsal midline, spine, varying from behind the scapula, shoulder, to the mid lumbar, mid back region, alternating from right to left sides. Here are some injection tips. If only a partial dose is given, do not attempt to redose. Wait and give your pet their usual dose at the next injection time. Record injection site location after each dose. Start by tenting the skin, then gently insert the needle into the center of the folded skin. Press the plunger until the complete dose is administered. Then remove the needle and safely dispose of the syringe and needle into an approved sharps collector or as instructed by your veterinarian. If the pet moves and insulin is accidentally injected outside skin, do not try to redose. Vetsilin dosing with vet pen. It's easy to get started with vet pen. The starter kit for pet parents has everything needed, and each component will be identified here. Please note that the vet pen starter kit does not come with a Vetsilin cartridge. Prior to using the vet pen, it is important to know the parts that are listed in the instructions. Vet pen components. Vet pen is available in two versions. Vet pen 8, which delivers 0.5 to 8 units in 0.5 unit increments per injection. And vet pen 16, 
which delivers 1 to 16 units in 1 unit increments per injection. The vet pen components are dose selector, pen body, release button, internal plunger, cartridge holder with remaining units indicated, pen cap, 28 pen needles with needle covers and protective caps, cartridge plunger, cartridge, dose selector adapter, release button extension, Needle Remover Vet Pen Preparation and Assembly Before preparing the vet pen for use, always shake the Vetsilin cartridge until a homogeneous, uniformly milky suspension is obtained. Remove the cap from the vet pen and unscrew the vet pen body from the cartridge holder. Check to ensure the internal plunger is fully retracted. Load the cartridge into the holder by inserting the metal cap first. Then screw the vet pen body and cartridge holder together. Next, peel the protective film from the vet pen needle and screw the vet pen needle onto the cartridge holder, keeping the protective outer cap on the needle. Only vet pen needles should be used with vet pen. Once seated, then remove the outer protective needle cap and replace the vet pen cap. Shake the vet pen until a homogeneous, uniformly milky suspension is obtained a second time. Priming and preparing vet pen. Shake the cartridge in the vet pen until a uniformly milky suspension is obtained. Before use, it is important to remove any air bubbles from the vet pen to avoid injection of air and to also ensure proper dosing. This process is also referred to as priming. Please note, the Vetsilin 2.7 milliliter cartridge contains small glass beads that aid the insulin mixing process. These are not air bubbles that can be tapped out. To prime vet pen, remove the vet pen cap and the inner protective needle cap. Then turn the dial one unit on the dose selector. Holding the vet pen pointing vertically upwards, push and hold the release button. The arrow on the pen body points to the starting line on the dose selector. Repeat these steps and tap the pen, like a syringe, until the air bubbles are gone and the insulin drips from the needle tip. Check that the cartridge is free of air bubbles by viewing the cartridge through the vet pen window and inverting or tilting the vet pen. If air bubbles are still present, repeat previous steps until they are gone. Giving an injection using vet pen. Injection should be given subcutaneously, just under the skin three quarters of an inch to two inches from the dorsal midline, spine, varying from behind the scapula, shoulder, to the mid-lumbar, mid-back region, and always alternating sides, left and right. Ensure the arrow on the vet pen body points to the start line on the dose selector, then dial the number of units prescribed for your pet. Tent the skin, then gently insert the needle into the center of the folded skin. Insert the needle, then push the release button toward the pen needle and hold it in place until the start line on the dose selector returns to the arrow on the vet pen body. Be careful not to hold the vet pen too tightly and impede the motion of the dose selector. After the dose selector has returned to the start line, wait a minimum of five seconds before removing the needle from your pet. Removing the needle too early could result in your pet not receiving its full dose of Vetsilin. Injection tips. If only a partial dose is given, do not attempt to redose. Wait and give your pet its usual dose at the next injection time. If you overdial, never wind back the dose selector as this may damage the pen or provide an inaccurate dose. Instead, expel the insulin dose into a safe place, such as the sink, then redial the correct dose as prescribed by your veterinarian. Removing the needle from the vet pen. Remove the needle by inserting it into the needle removal device provided in the vet pen starter kit and unscrew the needle from the vet pen. To dispose of the needle, press the blue tip on the needle removal device to release the needle into a sharps container. Always dispose of needles carefully and in accordance with local regulations and the direction of your veterinarian. Safety reminders. Always use a new needle for each injection. Always remove needles using the needle remover provided in the kit and safely dispose after each injection. Consult your veterinarian if you have trouble injecting your pet or notice a change in your pet's behavior. Storage and cleaning. 
Vet pen should always be stored or carried with the needle removed and the vet pen cap on. To clean vet pen, do not immerse in water. Clean vet pen using a damp cloth. Once the vet pen is loaded with a cartridge, store it in the refrigerator, 36 degrees to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. The loaded vet pen can be stored on its side in the refrigerator. It is important not to freeze the Vetsalin within the vet pen. Protect it from light. Use contents of a Vetsalin cartridge within 42 days of the first puncture of the cartridge. Changing the insulin cartridge. Prior to changing the insulin cartridge, always ensure the needle has been removed to prevent accidental injury. To remove the cartridge, unscrew the cartridge holder from the vet pen body. Rewind the internal plunger by holding the white lower part of the vet pen body between the thumb and finger. Turn the vet pen body clockwise until the internal plunger is fully retracted. Instructions to load a new insulin cartridge. Shake the cartridge again until a uniformly milky suspension is obtained. Remove the cap from the vet pen and unscrew the vet pen body from the cartridge holder. Ensure the internal plunger is fully retracted. Load the insulin cartridge, insert the metal cap first. Screw cartridge holder and vet pen body firmly together. Reminders, do's and don'ts. Vet pen instructions for use are the same for both dogs and cats. Do not change the dose without consulting your veterinarian. Changing the dose without advice can potentially result in diabetic instability and runs the risk of complications such as hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Don't turn dial back as this may damage the vet pen or provide an inaccurate dose. Only use a 2.7 milliliter Vetsalin cartridge with vet pen. Always shake the Vetsalin cartridge prior to use as this will assure proper mixing of the insulin. The numbers on the vet pen cartridge holder indicate the number of units remaining in the cartridge with the needle pointing down. Download the Pet Diabetes Tracker app from the online app store to help manage your pet's diabetes. Refer to the vet pen instructions for use contained in the vet pen starter kit to review each step in more detail. For more information about Vetsalin, porcine insulin zinc suspension, and diabetes mellitus in dogs and cats, visit www.vetsalin.com. Important safety information. Vetsalin and vet pen are for use in animals only. Dogs and cats known to have an allergy to pork or pork products should not be treated with Vetsalin. Vetsalin is contraindicated during periods of hypoglycemia. Animals with severe ketoacidosis, anorexia, lethargy, and or vomiting should be stabilized with short-acting insulin and appropriate supportive therapy before use. As with all insulin products, careful patient monitoring for hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia is essential. Overdosage can result in profound hypoglycemia and death. Progestogen and glucocorticoid use should be avoided. The safety and effectiveness of Vetsalin in puppies, kittens, breeding, pregnant, and lactating dogs and cats has not been evaluated. Keep out of reach of children. Avoid contact with eyes. In case of contact, immediately flush eyes with copious amounts of water for at least 15 minutes. Accidental injection may cause clinical hypoglycemia. In case of accidental injection, seek medical attention immediately. Exposure to the product may induce a local or systemic allergic reaction in sensitized individuals. For complete safety information, refer to the product label.